Hi, I'm Dr. J, and this is a brief video about the exponential distribution or exponential random variables. A random variable x has an exponential distribution with a single rate parameter, I'm going to call it lambda, that rate parameter must be positive, and it has this distribution if the probability density function for that exponential random variable has this form. The first key piece to look at in this PDF is to look at that indicator function that indicates that x, the random variable, must be positive. As a reminder, indicator functions are 1 if the, the statement inside the parentheses is true and 0 otherwise. And so this is going to be 0 everywhere that's not true, and so this is indicating that the random variable must be positive. Otherwise, the functional form of this PDF is just lambda e to the negative lambda, where lambda is that rate parameter. Uh, we're going to use this notation to refer to an exponential distribution, the random variable x tilde exp with the uh, rate parameter in parentheses. Now let's take a look at a few example probability density functions. The exponential random variables have a very distinct probability density function, and that is that they always have a peak at 0, and then they just decay after that. And the rate parameter determines how quickly they decay, with higher rate parameters indicating a faster decay. And the idea of this rate parameter is how quickly uh, will it be on average until you see an exponential random variable. Thus, if the rate parameter is high, you will see it very quickly, and therefore the PDF will have most of its mass close to 0. When the rate parameter is small, then you get this nice long tail going to the right uh, to indicate that large values of this random variable are possible. Now, uh, we can calculate from that PDF the expectation or mean for an exponential random variable. It turns out that the mean is just 1 over the rate parameter. And we can do a similar calculation to find the variance. The variance just turns, to be, turns out to be 1 over that rate parameter squared. Uh, we can calculate the uh, cumulative distribution function from that PDF. And the cumulative distribution function has a nice simple form. It's just 1 minus e to the negative lambda x. Uh, this can also be inverted to find what might be called the inverse cumulative distribution function, or sometimes the quantile function. The inverse cumulative distribution function is just this, negative log 1 minus p divided by that rate parameter lambda. We can graph or visualize these cumulative distribution functions. Right? Like all cumulative distribution functions, they are monotonic and increasing. Uh, but you can see they basically all have this curve where they go up to the right, where the rate parameter determines how quickly that curve gets close to 1, with the high rate parameters indicating a very quick approach to 1. All right, the uh, exponential distribution has a very interesting property called the memoryless property. So imagine that you have an exponential random variable with rate parameter lambda, and I tell you that I know that that random variable is greater than some value c. And you're interested in determining what the probability of that random variable being greater than c plus some value, here we'll call it x. Right? So you know that it's got to be bigger than c, and the question is how much bigger? Right? So for instance, c might be 3. So I tell you the random variable is definitely greater than 3, and you want to now determine what the probability is that's greater than 3 plus x, it turns out that you can basically just sort of ignore that time before c. Because that time before c plays no role in determining the distribution of the random variable after time c. So once you know that it has already gone past c, you just ignore that and say, well, the probability of being any increment past c, right, that's now called x, is just exactly the same probability as it would have been right, before you knew that it had gotten past C. So this very interesting property, uh, useful in some applications. Uh, the last thing I want to mention is that depending on who is doing the write-up or discussion about the exponential random variable, they might have a different parameterization. So instead of using the rate like I've used, some use the scale, which is the inverse of the rate. The PDF can be found using that scale. The PDF is here where you just have to plug in beta equals 1 over lambda, or plug in lambda equals 1 over beta, to go from the original PDF that we had and the expectation the variance to find the new uh, PDF expectation and variance with this parameterization. So I just bring this up so you're careful uh, as you're looking at different texts or different 
uh, papers or what have you about the exponential random variable. Just make sure you know what parameterization they are using. All right, so to summarize, we introduced the idea of the exponential random variable. It has a single parameter, in this case, the rate parameter. It has to be positive. It has a support for positive real numbers. Uh, there's the PDF. The CDF has a pretty simple form, the inverse of the CDF as well. The expectation is just 1 over the rate, and the variance is 1 over the rate squared. All right, the next video that I'm going to put up is going to be a video on the gamma distribution, which is related to this exponential distribution. Hope to catch you there.